What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was a random matchup against the one and only Wiz Honor Face, WHF. Um, hats off to these guys. They brought a, an amazing war. Uh, it really came down to the finish. Uh, let's just hop on over and check out what happened. 98 to 98. 94.31 destruction loses to 94.71 destruction. So, uh, Kratz, WHF, uh, like I said, amazing war. Power bang, the boys really know how to bring it. Uh, you'll see they did miss one on Pinto, but got a trip on Endless there, Salty, and South Fence, and then cleared the board on the nines as per expected. Good size war too, 35 people. Uh, and we also missed the number one. So like, like the nail biters, you know, like that second star on their max 11 could have meant the difference there. So, you know, really tight war all the way down. Uh, we did sneak one on, uh, sorry, already art in there. Um, yeah. And those were all nine. So all the way down the board, I believe cleaned up. So, Wow, what a great random matchup. This one doesn't have this these kind of things don't happen too often. Although I will say we're a little suspicious. We feel that Supercell is trolling all the war clans right now because there have been a not only just us, like we just had a random matchup. Um also uh versus like just some other uh, other fair play clans it just it just seems different i don't know i don't know if the matchmaking is different but um <laughs> hey if that's how it is then awesome uh you know so like i said let's hop right into this whf did great but let's check out 2.0 triples because uh some of these guys had some beastly attacks that i want to show you <clears throat> mo cannot be express how glad i am to have you back in the clan uh, I'm sure everyone else feels the same. <clears throat> bringing awesome attacks like this. So he goes ahead and drops the queen down there. He's going to bring four healers to keep her going. This is going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to times two this, but you're going to see how this plays out. Just charges right up into this uh, air defense. Once that mortar goes down and the cannon goes down, up she goes. Rage goes down, rips through the cannon and air defense. No problem. I thought it was kind of interesting the wall breakers to sort of let her back out. Oh, excuse me, jeez. But she stands there in this town hall for a while. Doesn't matter because nothing is targeting her. Um, so just going to slowly take down town hall, take down more, and start walking around this base. <clears throat> uh, notice still five wall breakers in the bag. He's already used, I believe, eight of them. Uh, so giant goes down to a little tank for those wall breakers, opens up another section of the wall to that next air defense. Queen's going to continue in there. He sends in the king. Jump spell goes down. Air defense is down. Defensive queen is getting smoked. Down she goes. <clears throat> Everything's going to funnel kind of into this inferno tower. And I believe this inferno tower is about to go down. Maybe not. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Of course. Of course, I get the message right when I start the recap. Um, but yeah, so that inferno tower goes down. Like huge, huge value, right? Uh, just the two air defense now for those hounds to deal with. And that one inferno tower. Freeze goes down to take care of that. Hastes all over the base. Mo Fo killed this. Nice job, my friend. I should have slowed it back down. My apologies. I had meant to just kind of fast forward the queen walk a little bit. So, whoops. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Mo. All right, what else we got here? Uh, let me show you. Zero. I think zero just got brought up, actually. Uh, this week maybe or within the last couple weeks so welcome my friend we have had a, a crazy last couple weeks unfortunately a couple heartbreaker losses you know we uh really fell a little uh quite short on crystal warrior i'm not happy about that and then right after that we get matched up against whf and lose to uh, 0.4 percent is what it is though you know these guys are uh, all awesome uh clans and have amazing attackers in them so Hats off, gentlemen. Um, clearly, uh, <laughs> clearly, we're ready for the rematch anytime. <laughs> so, Zero's little queen walk. Uh, just going to kind of continue to walk it up here and opens up this compartment. I like the giant going to uh, tank for those wall breakers there. Opens things up. She's going to lock onto that expo and just kind of work her way up into this compartment and continue to get this good, good value. This brought 20 hogs. And I believe is about to send a bit of a king swap down on the uh, queen chamber here any second. Uh, time to do that for one sec. There we go. <clears throat> so Golem goes in. 
Wizard's going to go down, create a little bit of a funnel. This queen is going to take notice very early, not necessarily right when they're on those outer defenses. Um, but really all he needs to do here is take down this cannon, move the goal up a little bit, and then drop the queen, uh, king Sorry, on the uh, drill, which is about to happen. You see that CC has come out, bunch of archers. They end up taking some healers, which poses a problem for his queen in a moment. Uh, she does continue to rip through the rest of the CC. Poison is late because he was focusing on the... Um, King swap for the queen there. Uh, but as you can see, that is going splendidly. She is down. Uh, but you're going to see now with only, I think, three healers left, uh, it's just not quite enough when he gets up here. You got a bunch of Teslas about to pop in this top section. Uh, but all would work kind of beautifully, right? This king goes down, pops the ability to finish off the king. Things were looking good, and all of a sudden, all these Teslas pop. And it's GG for the queen, but he has just enough hawks to do the trick. Sends in a few down here to kind of protect that kill squad. Still has nine. He's about to sprinkle in on that Tesla farm up there. See that queen in there a little bit earlier there too. You might have been able to save her, but no big deal because it tree stars in the bag at this point. You know it is. Heel goes down. Tesla's down. Air defense down. Sweeper is the last defense remaining. Nice job, zero. Tree stars in the bag. Our man, JJ, number 11, going in versus number 11, power bang. Um, JJ brings 10 balks here with a cold-blooded golem. <laughs> I absolutely love this attack, not just because it was on power bang, but um, one thing I'll note about this base is super easy funnel like that. Um, I guess you're not expecting necessarily this kind of entry when you're building the base, but the double jump really does allow uh, you know, connects tip to tip is going to ensure everything goes into this one compartment he wants to and another jump's going to connect to the queen chamber here in a moment. So everything's going in, that level 30 queen in there backing things up, just kind of ripping things down. He's got um, 10 Valks now in there. Heel goes down to take care of them. Like, look at the distance these 10 Valks just, just roll through this base. Um, once these golems go down, boom, everything's going to move in. Here comes that second jump. There she is. Valks are just ripping through this base. <clears throat> Hogs going to take care of the Tesla. See, so just kind of you gotta just play that game, guys. When you're doing the, these math balks, just protect the balks. He sent in these handful of hogs. He's still got 14 in the bag right. He's gonna do the same thing kind of all on the outside here. So Valks are gonna finish off this chamber. Everything's jumping into this queen. As soon as that queen is taken care of, here come the hogs coming from the 12 o'clock location. Really want to protect this queen that is almost dead. She uh, busts the ability. Cannon is down. She's gonna continue on just working through this base. This base is done at this point really there's only uh two compartments of defenses remaining hogs are everywhere and it is g g cleanup time <clears throat> j j sexy love that attack three stars in the bag okie doke what else we got here let's go down the map a little bit I have 24, I like Dingus. Good old Dingus 2.0 War General in effect. Uh, I believe he had a six star war. Really kind of exploits the openness of this alleyway. This is kind of a, a new ish, I guess, base design. Um, I've never been a fan of it. I don't like allowing anything to just be able to walk freely through that. Um, I mean, Connecting these with walls wouldn't necessarily change much, I guess. I'm trying to say, like, if you just put walls in front of that dark barracks in front of that barracks to close it off, would that not just make more sense? Like, like if it, the only thing I think of is if you're trying to draw stuff in there. But to me, this is, is just the perfect alleyway, and Dingus just reads this. He's going to walk up and around, take good care of all this stuff on the way. We're going to talk to this because it takes a bit. We can see these wizards going down there doing work because that archer tower is focused on the queen. It's going to take a while to take through that hound. And here comes his little bit of a shattered entry from the 12 o'clock position. It's going to work everything down to this base. Like that defensive queen is already dead. Like this, this queen charged freely through this little alleyway. It's just getting so much value. As you can see, King's going to work his way in. Everything's just going to kind of jump into this core as it works its way through. Rage for the King. Down it goes. And the Tesla's are going to finish that off, but there's not a heck of a lot remaining of this base for uh, these 14 hogs. <clears throat> 
couple balloons even going down, help things out. Still has the 14 hogs. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe like six or seven defenses remaining when he sends in 14 hogs <laughs> and doesn't even need the heal technically. Just loved it. Down goes the Tesla. Last defense remaining. Beautiful. Balloon for cleanup. Just wrecked this base. I don't know, guys. I'm not a fan of this alleyway. I've seen it kind of work, but to me, especially because queen charges are like the thing right now, it seems. Um, you know, Go Gova is pretty popular too, but these queen charges and queen walks are definitely, definitely, definitely uh, very, very predominant TH9 attack. So when you kind of just give them a free alleyway, it's got to serve a purpose, and I don't think this base did that. Tree stars in the bag for Dingus. What else we got here? So this is 2.0 War General. This is the new 2.0 liter mouthpiece. My man. Love this guy. I think he's really, really going to be uh, an excellent um, leader for 2.0. I'm not just saying that. Um, you know, we talked a lot upon the change of leadership. And, you know, after, uh, you know, an hour, hour and a half conversation with them, uh, it's almost like we had a couple of beers together at the bar. Um, this guy just knows the direction of the clan. He thinks of the clan uh, as a whole. Right. And this does not treat the clan as any sort of dictatorship in any fashion, uh, consults the leadership, uh, you know, all the COs about uh, pretty much everything he does. So uh, mouthpiece, I think you're going to do great. <clears throat> so. This attack is going splendidly, as you can see. Everything's funneling into this queen chamber. King's down. Queen's going to finish off things, though, in the queen chamber. No problem. Still has four lava hounds and 14 balloons. This is the problem when you put an air defense in your queen chamber, guys. It opens you up to a cold blad of lalo like absolutely nothing. So mouthpiece really exploits that quad cold blooded lalo style two in on that first air defense balloons going in all over the base rage goes down to push everything into uh the second air defense that goes down there expo's about to go down hounds transferring over still has a hound in the bag he's about to send it in from this kind of uh, two o'clock location but as you can see there's balloons everywhere haste are going to go down one haste another haste going to go down right here he's got a raid spell for this expo like this Pack is just looking pretty from this point. Oh, I didn't even notice this when I watched the replay at first. He lost so much down here. Um, but just has quite just enough balloons to get through the rest of this, actually. Uh, the thing is, his queen gets stalled up on this uh, wall for so long. It allows the rest of the base to get destroyed, so she can just step up and help finish off that air defense. I absolutely thought <laughs> that was cool. I do remember seeing that. Uh, it's always kind of nice when your queen completes her objective and then just stands back for like a minute of the raid because you don't want her charging in with no tanking. Like once your golems all die and she's the last, like if she, that was like the perfect scenario. It's happened many, many times. Uh, but as you see, two Teslas, Wiz Tower, balloons are coming in to back that queen up. She doesn't even need it because she still has the ability. Haste goes down, so we're gonna throw those balloons in there. It's cleanup time. Base is wrecked. Mouthpiece. Swag haste. Swag hastes, I should almost say. All right, I think I have one more I'm going to show you. Good old A. I think A had a six star war as well going in on Cola Warrior. 32 versus 31. Two golems in on that uh, mortar. The whiz right behind it. Take it down very, very quickly. He's going to get a nice opportunity to create a funnel here. <clears throat> what I liked was the witch. Um, it, the the attack doesn't quite go as planned. I'm pretty sure uh, A had meant to get this air defense and not this one, or maybe all three, but does not get this air defense, but it works out anyways. You're going to kind of see how this happens. Um, Witch is back here. I believe she reroutes back and around one moment. No, oh, she does not. Of course she doesn't. She moves up into that uh, town hall, um, but just kind of distracts things for a bit. Uh, might have been able to get away without having that witch there, but uh, as you can see that jump, but see this this air defense never goes down. Uh, everything locks onto that lab hound, kind of gets drawn into this side of the base, and I can imagine that oh shit moment of your raid when you're hoping that air defense go down and doesn't because A's only brought two lab hounds at this point. Only nine balloons has deployed one here for a tenth, but really like not many balloons and two air defense are going to remain, uh, but everything's moving in. There's 45% of the base to 
destroyed at this point. Queen is up with the ability, has two haste for this part of the air attack. So it's not looking terrible, but definitely, oh, there we go. Finally, the queen. Like, it's just good patience. That's right. I just had noticed initially when I first watched this, um, that uh, they did not get that air defense on entry, but the queen finally steps up, takes it out. And that's how this works out. This sweeper gives some trouble too, uh, but the haste just works everything in. It's going to take down that Tesla, moves in a little bit. I believe ends up losing some of these balloons before uh, they take down the Tesla, but all this stuff on the back end is just looking fantastic. All the air defense are down. Hound uh, is still, you know, almost half health, maybe not quite, but uh, there's just enough balloons backing up. Just kind of perfect timing on everything for this raid. Has just enough pops for, for everything. So, A, nice stick star war. I like this attack because it's always, always ballsy when you're going for three air defense with your uh, kill squad. And especially when you don't quite get it at first and just showing the patience there. Really nice tree star, buddy. In the bag. All right. I think that was it. Thanks, Skip. My man. So, I like it, you know. Uh, 2.0 um, is really filling up now for a lot of these guys that we've been uh, putting through the chain of the family uh, to come uh, in a random matchup against a, a clan like WHF and have the result go like this. You know, it could have gone any way, obviously. Um yeah, so <laughs> the fact that that that, that shows good things uh, for us in the future because uh, we got a really solid group of guys that uh, are going to continue to uh, give me awesome content to bring you guys. So uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.